Hello everyone, I'm Paul. So today I'm going to talk about the comparison between the SQL and NoSQL. So let's start. So the reason why I chose this topic is because like, I'm sure that everyone is an expert in SQL. But, and also there are some, some groups use Firebase in the capstone. So I'm sure that in the future we are going to learn more database. In, and before we create an app, we have to decide if, what kind of database to use, like SQL or NoSQL. And another, another reason is like I know that Fullstack used to teach uh, MongoDB instead of SQL. And when I talked to my brother, who is also a developer, and, and his company used Mongo, and I, I talked to him that uh, our, my coho is just, they, they say that Mongo is bad, and they are not going to teach about the Mongo. And, <laughs> and he asked me why, and I say, uh, I'm sure that our instructor Joe talk about like three or four points, but I only remember one. Like the, uh, he says that the documentation is suck. So, <laughs> <laughs> and he said that's not the reason, and you have to know why. So that's why I choose this topic. Like, but I'm not going to compare the SQL t with Mongo. I'm going to compare with the whole no SQL. Yep. So first. Why is SQL? So, yeah, everyone must be familiar with this. Like, so SQL is a primary database since 1990, and store is a relational model with a column row, and each column is fixed. You cannot change the property name. And here's a picture. Like, the microjournal try to insert the, the data into the basket, which basket, which is the the schema, the database. And imagine the the basket is the schema. Of course, you cannot change the height and the width of the basket. So yeah, that's the SQL database. And this is what the SQL database look like. You have the fixed ta if I have a table and with the fixed column and data inside there. Yep. So here's the query code. So this is why I cho this is I choose from the SQL workshop, and this must be the legendary one because this is the Kevin Bacon. Yeah, the one that probably tortured me for like two hours. So it's like you have to select the property name first, and then from the table that you want, and then where. Oh, this the where part is like you have to join each table, and <coughs> this is what SQL have and no SQL don't have. No SQL don't have the the jo join table part, and then there's elastic select inside and order by and limited. So how about NoSQL? NoSQL is a non-relational database and it stores data in JSON document, graph, or key value pairs. Also for the key value pairs, so here's what MongoDB lo looks like. Uh, yeah. So you guys can see this part. For the ID part, SQL has the ID like one, two, three, four, five in, in an order, but for the MongoDB they, they have like a, they have a hash key, so they hash so everyone will have a unique ID and not like in an order. So you cannot guess other other ones ID, yeah, and someone believes that the uh, uh, NoSQL don't have schema, but they they did. It's like, but the but the uh, the column is is not fixed. You can change the column every time you insert a new data. So the query code for this is for MongoDB. So you have a uh, it's it's just like a SQL, but if find and pretty pretty is the method for like the out to make the output more, like, more beautiful, yeah. So, yeah. So again, like, SQL or no SQL. So here's some interesting picture, yeah. So, yeah. So this is the conversion between the no SQL and SQL. So for the model, yeah, the SQL is relational and no SQL is non-relational. And SQL store data in a table, and no SQL store like a JSON object. The key value here is just like I say, yeah. And for the data part, uh, SQL is a is a great solution for like for like like for example, you have a uh, you have a you have so many data, and each data have the same par property. Then you probably have to choose uh, SQL to to for your database. But if you have a data which have like all data have different property, then you probably have to choose NoSQL. And just like I say, SQL cannot add 
uh, if you want to add a new property, you have to go inside to the D to the DB and then add a new property in, in your code. But NoSQL, you can just add on the fly. Yeah. So here, the NoSQL, you can you can like join each table, and for a uh, SQL for sorry SQL, you can join each table to find the to find the data that you want. But SQL, you can join the table and they're like all unique. So for the schema schema part, so SQL have a strict schema, but the NoSQL have the flexible schemas, which makes sense. Yeah. <coughs> so uh, SQL have to like you have to cap sync between application and database. Like every time we have to run like Node.js, and but for NoSQL is like because there is no relational between each schema, so you don't have to sync the database every time. And for this transaction, the SQL support the ACID access transaction. The ACID stands for so A stands for the atomic. It's concept about the all or nothing. So let's say th here today is a tr here's a transaction coming, and if there is a part of this transaction is file then the whole transaction file. And C is stand for like consistency. So database will remain like in a consistent state before and after the transaction. And I stand for isolate. Uh, once the transaction comes in and there's a key, like a Boolean key to say, so here's the transaction, so it's true. So you cannot accept another transaction after this transaction is done. And this stands for durability. Is once a transaction has been not not noticed like this is success, then you can, you can change this. You c it can be undone. So for NoSQL, the ACID transaction support various per solution. It's like a, some NoSQL database decide to sacrifice like part of the ACID to meet their requirements. And also, do anyone know like the, the flag, Flaxcon, the uh, one of the big Bitcoin exchange, like they, they just shut down in two years ago. It's because like, like a hacker find a flow in the MongoDB. So he tried to make a, a lot of uh, fake IP and try to make the transaction at the same time. And then, let's say, if his account ha only have one, $100, and he, he make like 100 fake IP, and he made the transaction at the same time, and each transaction try to withdraw $100. And then, but for the account, it only minus $100. But actually, the hacker get like uh, $10,000. So that's why the, there's a, but I, I'm sure that Mongo have fixed this problem, so, <laughs> so just don't try it. Yeah. So for the scalability, the SQL is like, it's vertical. So, so it costs a lot after, after you try to maintain or you try to query because it's a, the table are all joined together. So. But for NoSQL, it's like horizontally. So it's not going to cost that much. So you can like easily query to the database or maintain the database. Yeah. So here's an article about the about the NoSQL and SQL comparison. So hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>